A family's property is torched. Three vehicles set on fire just feet away from this Buford home. Now, and even more disturbing, investigators think that crime was random. Now, tonight, they're in a race against the clock to catch an arsonist before something else goes up in flames. Now, Fox 5's George Franco is live at the Gwinnett County Fire Department. And George, do investigators have any leads? Well, Russ and Sine, uh, are well, Russ and Sine, Gwinnett County arson investigators are diligently searching for clues and evidence in this arsonist case, trying to get a handle on it before this firebug could strike again. It burned so hot that you can look under here and see that the motor's completely melted. It happened late Sunday night. Someone torched the 1999 Jeep, which belongs to Stephanie Roberts' daughter. The fire department says the arsonist also set her boyfriend's 2009 Chevy Cobalt ablaze. As you can see, the riding lawnmower's toast. Firefighters say the riding lawnmower in the garage was also set on fire. Who do you think did this? We have no idea, and that's the scary part. Enemies, anything in the past? Nothing. And it's just, it's terrorizing to our family. There's no chance that this fire would have spread to this vehicle, either through radiant heat or flame spread. Captain Tommy Rudlett says the firebug left Stephanie Roberts's SUV and another car untouched. He says motive is unclear, asking residents in the Buford neighborhood to remain vigilant. And there's nothing to say that this person wouldn't go and, and attempt this somewhere else, unless, of course, there was a reason they targeted this particular vehicle in this particular home. Hope Sara, Georgia arson control. $10,000 reward will lead to answers and an arrest. Until they catch you, we ever did this and we figure out why, it, it will drive us crazy. Stephanie Roberts is thankful her daughter's boyfriend grabbed a hose and doused the lawnmower fire until firefighters arrived to stop it from spreading to the house. Now she's concerned about a next time. We're very lucky that uh, my daughter saw it and heard it and we were all able to get out of the house in time. What's to prevent them from doing it again? Uh, sure and possibly hurting someone next time. Anyone with any information is asked to contact the Gwinnett County Fire Department. As you heard, there is a potential reward of $10,000. Now, coming up, all new on Fox 5 News Edge at 11 o'clock, I'll tell you about what wasn't found at this fire scene. Reporting live tonight in Gwinnett County, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. All right, George, thanks so much.